Hello, hello, salam alaikum. Today, yani we want to continue talking about chapter 20, section 20.3, organization of electron transport complexes. <clears throat> now, intact mitochondria isolated from cells can carry out all the reactions of the electron transport chain. Four separate respiratory complexes can be isolated from the inner mitochondrial membrane. These complexes are multi-enzyme systems. Now, the electron transport reactions in the respiratory complexes occur. What reactions take place in the respiratory complexes? Now, you remember we encountered uh, multi-enzyme complexes previously in, in chapter 19, uh, namely the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex and the alpha keto glutarate dehydrogenase complex. So each of the respiratory complexes can carry out the re reaction of a portion of the electron transport chain. So what reactions take place in the respiratory complexes? We start with complex one. This is the first complex also called NADH CoQ oxidoreductase. It catalyzes the transfer of electrons from NADH to coenzyme Q or CoQ. It is an integral part of the inner mitochondrial membrane. It includes several proteins that contain an iron sulfur cluster and the flavor protein that oxidizes NADH. Now the total number of subunits is more than 20. The flavor protein The flavoprotein has a flavin coenzyme called flavin mononucleotide or FMN. Lahdu, uh, it differs from FAD in not having an adenine nucleotide. And you can look at this, this figure shows you the structure of FMN, the flavin mononucleotide. Now the reaction of this complex occurs in several steps with successive oxidation and reduction of the flavor protein and the iron sulfur cluster. Now, step one, transfer of electrons from NADH to the flavin portion of the flavor protein. NADH plus H plus plus EFMN produces NAD plus plus E attached to FMNH2. Notice here that that EFMN indicates that the flavin is covalently bonded to the enzyme, remember. So it is oxidized while it is bonded covalently to the enzyme. Now in the second step, however, the reduced flavor Reduced FMN is reoxidized, and the oxidized form of the iron sulfur protein is reduced, as you can see here. Now, the reduced iron sulfur protein then donates its electron to coenzyme Q, which becomes reduced CoQH2. So this is step three. And then it takes place in seven, three steps. Now, if we look at this figure, it shows us the oxidized and reduced forms of the coenzyme Q. Notice that coenzyme Q is also called ubiquinone. And this is the oxidized quinone form and when it is reduced, it's called hydroquinone form. And then the oxidized quinone, the reduced hydroquinone form. Next, uh, this is the overall reaction. This is the overall equation for the reaction. NADH plus H plus plus CoQ to give NAD plus plus CoQH2. Now, notice that 
the final electron acceptor in complex one is CoQ. This reaction is one of three responsible for proton pumping that creates the pH gradient. As I will show you in the next figure, the standard free energy change delta Gino to prime is minus 19.4 kilocalorie per mole. Indicates that the reaction, the reaction is strongly exergonic and releases enough energy to drive the phosphorylation of ADP to ATP. Remember that we need only 7.3 kilocalorie per mole to phosphorylate ADP to ATP. And here we have more than enough. Okay. Now, remember that reduced NADH donates its electron to coenzyme Q, but not the other way around. Because of the so-called reduction potential, you remember NADH has a lower reduction potential than CoQ, so the transfer of electron from low to high. The final electron acceptor of complex one, CoQ, is a mobile carrier. It is not part, it is not bound to the, it is buried, oh, uh, it is found in the lipid bilayer. <clears throat> Let me show you this figure. <clears throat> this is the electron transport chain showing all the respiratory complexes. Notice here that the reduced cytochromes, the iron is in the iron 2 oxidation state. In the oxidized cytochromes, the iron is in the Fe plus 3 oxidation state. Now, we started here with complex 1. Okay, this is complex 1. Again, an ADH transfer its electrons to FMN, then FMN transfer its electron to iron sulfur, which finally transfer its electron to coenzyme Q, as you can see. Now, NADH, remember that carry electrons and hydrogens in their reduced forms. With an iron sulfur protein can carry only electrons. This is the basis of proton pumping that eventually leads to ATP production. And also this figure shows you the energetics of electron transport. Here we have three sites where proton pumping occur with ATP production. Notes that in each site, the transfer of electrons from NADH to CoQ produces enough energy. In cytochrome B, the same, and from A to A to oxygen also enough energy is uh, produced to phosphorylate ATP to ADP. ADP to ATP, okay. Now we shall see the second complex, which also transfer electrons from an oxidizable substrate to coenzyme Q. Now, so complex two, the second of the four membrane bound complexes called succinate CoQ oxidoreductase. Also catalyzes the transfer of electrons from succinate to CoQ. Lahdu. Also here we have two stages or three stages. Now, succinate is oxidized to fumarate by a flavin enzyme, lahdu. You remember succinate, the substrate uh, from the citric acid cycle is also oxidized to fumarate by a flavin enzyme. Now, again, the notation EFAD indicates that the flavin portion is covalently bonded to the enzyme. Now the flavin group is reoxidized in the next stage where uh, as another sulfur protein is reduced, as you can see here. Then we have in stage three, the reduced iron sulfur protein donates 
its electron to oxidize CoQ and CoQ is reduced to CoQ H2. And the overall reaction is this, the oxidation of succinate to fumarate using coenzyme Q, which is uh, oxidized to CoQH2. We already saw the first step of this reaction as we discussed the oxidation of succinate to fumarate as part of the citric acid cycle. You remember the enzyme traditionally called succinate dehydrogenase, which catalyzes this oxidation. Okay. Uh, of succinate to fumarate. Now, this enzyme has been shown by later work to be part of this enzyme complex, complex two. Recall that the succinate dehydrogenase portion consists of a flavoprotein and an iron sulfur protein. The other components of complex two are a B-type cytochrome and two iron sulfur proteins. The, home, the whole complex again is an integral part of the inner mitochondrial membrane. Now, this, uh, the, the stand, notice that this uh, reaction is exergonic with small value for delta G naught prime. Energy from this reaction is not enough to drive ATP production. You remember I said we need 7.3 at least. So no proton is pumped out of the matrix during this step. And then, as I said, ATP production is coupled to proton pumping. So in complex two, no proton pumping, no uh, ATP production. Action of cytochromes. Now in further steps of the electron transport chain, electrons are passed from CoQ, which is reoxidized to cytochromes. Now what are cytochromes? groups of heme containing proteins in the electron transport chain. In each heme group, the iron is successively reduced to iron 2 and reoxidized to iron 3. Also, the different types of cytochromes are distinguished by lower case letters A, B, C, and further distinction is made possible with subscripts like C1. Then we go to complex three. Then we go to complex three, the third complex uh, is called CoQH2 cytochrome C oxidoreductase, also called cytochrome reductase. So it has two names, also called cytochrome reductase, catalyzes the oxidation of reduced coenzyme Q, Q, CoQH2. Now the electron produced by this oxidation reaction are passed along the cytochrome C in a multi-step process. Now proton uh, pass out on the other side of the membrane. And this is the overall reaction. Now two molecules of cytochrome C are required for every molecule of coenzyme Q. Why? Because the oxidation of CoQ involves two electrons, whereas the reduction of iron 3 to iron 2 requires only one electron. So that's why two molecules of cytochrome C are required. Two molecules of cytochrome C are required for uh, every molecule of coenzyme Q. Now, Components include two B-type cytochromes, BH and BL, cytochrome C1, and several iron clusters protein. Again, if we go back and see uh, that figure, this is, you see, complex three. Uh, 
and this this is complex two this is <coughs> complex three and here complex four which we will see now this figure shows us the <coughs> composition and locations of respiratory complexes in the inner mitochondrial membrane showing the flow of electrons from NADH to oxygen. Lahdu, complex two is not involved and is not shown, only complex one with three and four, as you can see here. And this arrow shows us the direction of flow of electrons. Now this is CoQ, as I told you, is found in the lipid bilayer. it's mobile. And also cytochrome C is mobile, but it is located in the intermembrane space. We will see this again as we go. Now, series of reactions in the electron transport chain provides the link between two electron transfer and one electron transfer, involves the flow of electrons via a cyclic path from CoQH2 to other components of the complex, depends on the fact that coenzyme Q can exist in three forms. And these are the three forms. As I said, CoQ or ubiquinone, the oxidized or quinone form, then loss of electron, it becomes semiquinone, then another electron, it becomes reduced or hydroquinone form. And this figure shows us the oxidized and reduced forms of complex Q, showing the intermediate semiquinone anion from form involved in the so-called the Q cycle. Don't worry about the details of the Q cycle that are found in the text. Now, in this part of the cycle, one electron is passed from CoQH2 to the iron sulfur. Clusters to cytochrome C1, uh, leaving coenzyme Q in the semiquinone form. And this is the arrangement, CoQH2 to iron sulfur to cytochrome C1. And this is the equation. Now the semiquinone along with the oxidized and reduced forms of coenzyme Q participates in a cyclic process in which two B cytochromes are reduced and oxidized in turn. Each of the two molecules of coenzyme Q involved in the cycle loses one electron. Again, complex three, the Q cycle, provides a mechanism for electrons to be transferred one at a time from coenzyme Q to cytochrome C1. Now complex three results in proton pumping and supplies enough energy. Remember, this is delta G naught minus 8.2 kilocalorie per mole to drive ATP production because of the reaction that it catalyzes. Recall that the phosphorylation of ADP requires uh, 7.3 kilocalorie, and here we produced more than that. So again, in complex 